All right, guys. Hey, champions. I'm Coach Michael. I'm so excited to have you guys here with me today. We're going to be doing a uh, workout with some gymnastics, conditioning, and stretching. Um, we've missed you all during this uh, quarantine time that we've had, and I hope that you guys can join in and, and get some uh, active movement into your day to, to keep you going through this time. Um, it's really important to start any workout with an adequate warm-up. We want to make sure the muscles are, are moving, your body's warm, and doing a proper warm-up can help make sure that you don't get injured during or after the workout. Uh, so what I want you guys to do, and you can do these with me, we're going to start with 25 jumping jacks. Um, arms stay straight and by the ears. Let's try to get them all the way up to your ears. All right, so go ahead. Next, we're going to do 15 squats. I'm going to turn sideways so that you can see. When we squat, we want our feet about hip width apart. We're going to sit our hips back, and as you sit down, your hands will come forwards, and we're going to do 15 of them. Next, we're going to do 10 tuck jumps. When you do a tuck jump, you'll jump, lift both knees up to your chest, and you can touch the tops of your knees. And now we're going to do a few push-ups. When you do your push-ups, we want hands shoulder width apart. If push-ups are challenging for you, you can do them on your knees and that will make it a little bit easier. So I want to see 10 of your best push-ups. All right, so now that we've had a little bit of a warm up in, we're gonna talk about the workout that we're going to do today. We're going to do three rounds of 10 push ups, 10 V ups, 10 squat jumps, and 10 arch jumps. I'm going to demonstrate each of those exercises first, and then we'll go ahead and get started. I just did push ups, but we'll talk about them one more time. It's important that your hands are shoulder width apart. We want to try to keep our head very still and in the middle, so no turtle head with our head sticking down. We don't want our bottom up in the air or our belly to sag down by the ground. We want to stay nice and straight, pull that straight body on the way down, and even more so on the way up. It's very easy to cheat and arch on the way up. We want to stay nice and straight. Now on V-ups, you're going to lay on your back, arms down by your sides, Push your back into the ground, lift up, and try to touch your toes. If this one is a little tricky, you can bend your knees into a tuck instead and do tuck ups. When you do both of these though, we're going to sit up onto our bum and try to meet your legs in the middle. When we do squat jumps, we're going to put our feet about hip width apart, big squat down. When you jump, arms reach up to the sky. And we're going to explode off the ground and jump as high as we can. The last one we're going to do today will be arch ups. When you do your arch ups, you'll lay down flat on the ground. Arms are by your ears. Uh, I'm too tall. Arms by your ears. Lift up. Our head stays between our arms. Our arms are straight and tight. Our legs are straight and together. On the way down, we want to make sure that we lower down slowly and we don't flop down to the ground like this. All right? So what we're going to do is three rounds of those four exercises, 10 each exercise. 
after one round, we'll rest for a minute before we start the next round. All right, let's get going. First one is going to be 10 push-ups. So let's get started. After push-ups, we're going to do 10 V-ups, all right? And remember, these arms start by your side. We're going to sit up tall to touch those toes. Now we're doing squat jumps. 10 squat jumps, big squat down, jump and reach for the sky. And the last one will be our arch ups. Remember, we lay down on our stomach, arms by your ears, reach up nice and slow, and lower down nice and controlled. That will complete our first round. So now we have a minute rest. I would advise you to not lay down in between rounds. You can stand, you can sit, walk around. If you're out of breath like me right now, you can walk around with your hands on your head and that'll make breathing a little bit easier. So one of the reasons I chose these exercises um, they're pretty simple, most people can do them, and they have a lot of uh, use throughout gymnastics. Push-ups practice a hollow position, which is going to be very important in bars and tumbling, um, balance beam, vault, all of your events that you're going to be doing. V-ups is focusing on our core strength, also important in bars and all of gymnastics. Squat jumps are focusing on explosive power which is mostly going to be floor and vault, and arch ups are going to help strengthen your, your muscles in your back. We focus a lot on the core, it's a lot harder to target those lower back muscles. So now, it's been about a minute, we're gonna start the second round. So one more time, we'll do 10 push-ups, 10 V-ups, 10 squat jumps, and 10 arch ups. is your V-ups. If you have a hard time with pointing your toes when you're in your gymnastics classes, now is a good time to practice that because these exercises, you're not upside down, so it's a little bit easier to focus on small details. Now we're on to squat jumps. Last one will be our arch ups. It's very easy to bend your knees when you lift your legs up in the back. Try to keep them all the way straight when you arch up. All right, now we finish round two. The other thing that I really like about workouts like this is because the exercises are pretty simple, you can scale them with how many rounds you're doing um, or the number of repetitions for each scale in each round. So if this workout is too easy, 
you could do 15 push-ups or, or all four exercises at 15 reps or 20 reps. Or you can also scale them by going on your knees or bending your knees or things of that nature. So it gives you a lot of options to make it more difficult or simpler depending on your strength and conditioning background. All right, let's go ahead and start. We got one more round and then we're gonna do some stretches. So, 10 push-ups. Next, we're on to 10 VFs. Last 10 squat jumps. And finally, our last 10 arch jumps. guys. Once you finish, walk around for a little bit with your hands on your head and then we're going to get nice and stretched out. All right. Now for our stretches. We're going to go through some important ones for gymnastics. First one we're going to start with is our straddle. Let's go straddle as wide as straight. Try to squish the backs of your knees down into the ground and toes are pointed. We'll start with arms up tall by your ears and you're going to reach over to one side. For an exercise to be effective, we, we like to hold it, I'd say between 20 and 30 seconds, but I wouldn't go any longer than 30. And reach back up. And we'll go to the other side. We like to do stretches, one, because the flexibility helps our gymnastics, but it also helps with muscle recovery after a workout. Hands up tall and reach to the middle. So my preferred workout style is warm up, gymnastics, strength and conditioning, followed by a workout at the end because now your muscles are warmed up and primed for stretching and they have been worked out. And so to prevent them from tightening up and getting shorter, we want to stretch them out at the end. Remember on your straddle and your pancake, we want our knees to face up to the ceiling. We don't like it when our knees roll forward. So one more time, reach out to the middle and keep those knees up nice and tall. Now we're on to butterfly. So feet together, pull them in, not all the way towards your hips, but a good distance. We're gonna press our knees down towards the ground and then reach our nose down as low as we can. Very good. Next we're on to our pike. When we do pike, legs are straight, toes are pointed. We're still squishing the backs of our knees down to the ground. Sit up as tall as you can, and now reach forwards towards your toes. If you can't reach your toes, I don't want you to bend your knees to get there. I want you to reach as far as you can with straight legs. You can either be on the tops of your legs or next to your legs. And we'll walk those hands forwards as far as we can. After stretching my pike with pointed toes, I like to do a flex toe stretch as well. So we'll flex our feet, reach up tall, and you're going to fold in half again. You'll notice that this one 
stretches a little bit more, so you probably won't reach quite as far on this on this uh, stretch. Very nice. Now we're going to do a seal stretch. On our seal stretch, fingers face the front. I want you to squeeze your feet and your heels all the way together. And we're going to push our belly button down to the ground. From here, if you take a deep breath in, it will stretch your stomach a little bit farther. You can also turn your head to the side and the other side to stretch the sides of your core a little bit more. All right. Our last one for today is going to be uh, our splits. Start with one leg in front. I like hands on your, your front knee, and we're gonna press our hips forwards. If you notice that your knee is going past your front foot, you need to scoot your front foot forwards a little bit more. Now we're gonna straighten our leg, flex our foot, one hand on each side, and try to reach your nose down towards your knee. Make sure you don't lean sideways one way or the other. We want to stay balanced right in the middle. And now we'll slide out in our split. When we slide out all the way, we still keep one hand on each side. Front leg is straight, toe is pointed, and we want our knee to stay up tall towards the ceiling. legs. So now we'll do our other leg in front. Remember, hands go on your knee, hips push forwards, and if you need to scoot that front foot out a little bit farther, go ahead and do that now. Straight leg, flex your foot, one hand on each side, and nose down to your knee. And now point that foot and slide on out. Remember, our front knee stays up to the ceiling, and our front leg should be all the way straight. In the back, I like for my pinky toe to be touching the floor, because that means that my back knee is under towards the ground and hasn't rolled sideways. All right, and our last one is going to be our middle split. So we'll start in a straddle, a straddle stand. We're going to slide our feet out to the side as far as we can. I like to go on my elbows when I do my middle split. And I try to keep my knees and hips in line with my feet. Or I guess my feet and my knees aligned with my hips. Alright guys, that about wraps us up for today. Thank you for tuning in for my gymnastics conditioning and stretching class. We look forward to seeing you guys again soon. If you have any questions or comments or things you want to see, please feel free to comment and leave us a note. Thanks again.